Hey, my beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jasmine, and this is my season now. Y'all, I just want to tell y'all about a dream that I had last night, right? So, I was, you know, about to go to Waffle House and get something to eat, right? So, for me and my brother, so I pulled up at Waffle House. Is this restaurant specifically Waffle House? I don't know, but this is just what it put me in the mind of. And plus, his order was like Waffle House, right? So, anyways, I um, pulled up at Waffle House, and before I got out of the car, like I felt like somebody was coming, right? So I felt like somebody was coming, and then you know like within that very moment my auntie opened my door and got in it was almost like she was going to get something to eat too but she seen my car and um it seemed like she was just gonna speak but she opened my door and got in my back seat right so i was like i said to myself like i knew i should have locked my door right so anyways you know we were just sitting in the car or whatever for a little extra time and then i actually got out and went in and got in line right so i got in line and it was almost as if i placed the order but i left out again and got back in the car or whatever like that so you know upon that time i was actually when i came back to the car i was waiting on her to go to get her order together to go in and place her her order as well but she was kind of like you know just procrastinating and really then she didn't get out to go place her order right so some time went by and i went back in and um because the thing is, I was about to leave, and then my brother called me, and he was like, he wanted his food. Like, I remember that he wanted his food, right? So, I went back in to place his order, but when I went back in this time, there was no line, right? There was no line. The first time I went in, there was a long line, but this time I went back in, there was no line and no wait, right? So, when I got, when I walked, I could walk right up to the register. There was no line, no wait. Nobody was in line in front of me. I actually walked right Right up to the register and at the register there was two women right two girls looked like they was about my age and apparently i'm a regular at this restaurant because they knew me right and they was like girl the last time you was here a older lady was getting mad because you know you wanted dr pepper in your cup right so they was telling me like a lady was kind of getting mad or irritated because I wanted my food or my order a certain type of way, right? And she felt like I was delaying the line or whatever like that. So anyways, um, they I put in my order. And then as soon as I put my order in, they started calling out names. Two names at a time, a girl and a boy name. So they called out these names. And then all I could remember was the when I woke up, okay, when they called out the last two names, I woke up, right? So as soon as I woke up, I of course went to my notepad trying to jot down really quickly my dream or whatever but when it got down to this part for me to put in those two names i only remember one name which was the boy name and it was kenaniah kenaniah so it was like they called out two names at a time a girl and a boy name and the very last name they called out was kenaniah i don't remember the girl name i'm just gonna say kenaniah and candace right so when i woke up i heard your order is ready i heard your order is ready and i heard two by two right so i'm like okay god come to find out this is like the food that they was preparing the orders they that, that they were preparing were actually couples it was actually people right i hope this can make sense right so <clears throat> what i got from this dream was you know was you know us right the the line and the restaurant represented us going before god and interceding and asking him you know for what we what we want you know what i'm saying petitioning him for the things that we've been waiting on the line represented us waiting right and me getting out of line you know of course that's self-explanatory it represented me you know sometimes being impatient and getting out of line and even there was a time when i even gave up i was about to leave right but i was remembered that my brother wanted some food so if some of us even in times when we wanted to give up and we threw in the towel and we was done we was tired away we still got back in line just for the ones who we loved right glory be glory oh lord like holy spirit i need you to 
step in like holy spirit i give you full authority over my body to speak to your children the way that they need it oh god god i ask that there be none of me but just all of you in this time right now lord god because somebody need this word somebody has got frustrated in the wait, lord god but god sent me on here today to let you know that your wait is over he said get back in line because there will be no wait this time he said your order is ready ding your order is up your order is up glory be to the most high living god god said that you know me getting out of line and me wanting to leave and get frustrated in the way it just represented you know how a lot of y'all feeling right now but yet and still i was reminded that my brother still wanted his food and i got back in line god said that due to the fact that you were selfless enough to go and intercede on the behalf of somebody else you went before his throne for somebody you love for his children god said he's gonna answer your prayers as well he said your order is up as well right all glory be to the most high god it's somebody who really like you gave up on the thing that you've been asking god for but yet and still you got back in line for somebody you love he said you've been positioning you've been prophesying to his children you've been encouraging his children he said you stopped doing it for yourself you started doing it for his children and the one and somebody who you love all glory be to god and it's not a, it's not just coincidental that my brother i was going back i was getting back in line for my brother because my brother is truly somebody who i pray for all the time right glory to god god said you he said he's seen the fact that you put your wants and your order to the side but yet you got back in line for somebody else and god said he's seen that he's going to honor you for that he's gonna bless you for that because due to the fact that I went back for somebody else, even though I got tired and I gave up on my own order, bump that. I'm not even hungry no more. I don't even want the promise no more. I'm tired of waiting. God said he's seen it when you got back in line and you started the YouTube channel and you started encouraging other people. He said he's seen it. He's seen it. He's seen it. He's going to bless you for that. Glory to God. So when I woke up for, from this dream, right, and I was like, the the thing with dreaming is god only allows you to re to remember what he wants you to remember right so don't get frustrated sometimes when when you know what i'm saying um you don't remember every detail right because god gonna bring back to remembers what he wants you to remember now there is some occasions where you can pray and be like god just allow me to remember my dream right and he'll do that for you if he wants you to but the thing is don't get frustrated over all the details because sometimes he gives you what he wants you to remember right so God brought to my remember the only name I remembered was Ken and I, right? But yet and still when God started ministering to me about the way that I got back in line to um get my brother order, he was just like he reminded me of um Zechariah, right? Who was John the Baptist's dad. And Zechariah was you know, he was a priest, glory be to God. And he was going, you know, at the, he was at the altar before God when he got chosen to, to burn incense, right? Which is something that they used to do back in biblical days, right? You got to research it. But anyways, he was a priest and he was interceding before the people, right? He was atoning. He was, even though he, he was a priest and his job was to go before God for the for the people, right? So God said, he, he due to the fact that you're doing it for his people, this is for somebody. And you know, you know if you've been interceding on the behalf of god's people or on the behalf of your family right god said he's gonna bless you for that zechariah got blessed for that due to the fact that he was a priest and he was interceding for the children of god for god's people god god sent an angel and was like look zechariah god has heard your prayers all glory be to God. Look, Jasmine, I see you. I know you didn't got back in line for your brother, but listen, God said he know the thing that you've been believing in him for too. And he want to bless you too. Glory to God, because you wasn't doing it for yourself. God sees the heart of man. He sees when we went, when we doing things out of the kindness of our heart, out of love. God said he's seen your love for his people. And he's going to bless you for that. All glory to God. I love y'all. I love y'all so much, right? But listen, and there's a specific part in the dream when I got to the restaurant and I and I um I said like my auntie got in my car, right? God said we've allowed some distractions and some people in our lives who r really was just hindrances and wanted to just be nosy, right? They came pretending like they wanted God too and they believed in the God for something, but yet and still I'm like, auntie, when you gonna get out of the car and place your order, right? Because I didn't want to be rude and just leave her in the car and.
and go get my order. God said, look, it's a, lock your doors. Lock your doors. Lock your doors. Because like I said in the dream, I was like, I knew I should have locked my doors. Because auntie slid right in the back seat, right? God said, lock your doors lock your doors because it's people who we need to let in and they pretending like they for god but really they just being nosy trying to see what you finna order god said lock your doors don't let these people slide in just to delay you and distract you and they pretending like they getting their order together you waiting on them but yet and still they just trying to hold you up no no auntie get out i'm gonna just have to talk to you later when i go get my order when you get your order together and you really you know as a matter of fact meet me in the restaurant when you get your order together you can come and get in line right and i'll be there don't let these fake people hold y'all up from y'all breakthrough auntie slid in the back seat and was like what's up jazz i see you i see you finna get something to eat i'm trying to get something to eat too watch them people and they sneaking and they slide like foxes and the way that i knew that she was sent by the enemy because she slid in i felt her coming and that's the characteristics of a demon of a, of a devil because he's very tricky and sly he try to slide his way in right they sent by the enemy they sent by the devil they sneaky y'all be careful but that's the revelation that god gave me concerning how my auntie just slid in my back seat she, and you know what i'm saying and, and and there was even a part where i came back out of the restaurant and i got back in the car with her because i'm like you know what's up like get your order together but beware of these type of people who are pretending that they really for god but yet they just being nosy and messy trying to sabotage your order and watch what you finna order right be careful that's a warning for some of us who is really positioning and believing it for God. It's so easy for us to get caught up on other people and trying to help other people, right? But at the same time, they ain't they ain't really for real. They ain't really for real believing in God for promises. They really just trying to be up under you and watch what you finna get. Beware. Be careful, right? So, y'all, like I was saying, right? So, for some reason... Okay, at the end of the dream, they started calling out names two by two, right? Like, like our orders was ready, right? They was calling up our name. When they was calling names, that mean it's time for you to come up and get your order. These things are going to be happening quickly, fast. On one one wedding on the heels of another, our weddings are going to just going to be boom, boom, boom. Weddings are just going to be rolling out. Okay, they're going to start calling out names real quickly. Okay, so when I when the last name that I heard was Ken and I, right, and I woke up. So as I was writing this dream down, I was like, God, who is Kenaniah? You know what I'm saying? So I started looking up the name, you know, and it was two people in the Bible by the name of Kenaniah, right? So I'm like, you know, it's still nothing was registering with me. So I Googled what is the meaning to Kenaniah. And the meaning to Kenaniah is Yahweh establishes. Yahweh establishes your order. Glory be to God. The thing you've been believing in God for, the thing you've been waiting on God for, the thing you've been standing in line for, God say Yahweh establishes. These orders are made specifically by God. These orders are made by God. Even though I didn't meet the chef right, I met the um, I met the uh employers, which are I'm pretty sure is symbolic of his angels and his helpers, right? I met some of them and they knew me by face. They was like, girl, listen, somebody was talking about you the last time you was up in here, right? But the thing is, I never met him by face. I never met the chef. I didn't see the chef by face, but I just want you to know he's in control of it all. He made the order. He's a, he's establishing these these couples and these marriages and these weddings are are established by god and you're gonna be right on time like there was a time you got out of line and you thought you messed up and you thought you you thought somebody else got your order but god said no you're gonna be right on time for this one baby girl god said when you come back ain't nobody gonna be in ain't nobody gonna be in front of you the wait is over the wait is over you're up you're up next all oh, glory be to the most high living god you're up next you're next. You're next in line. Glory. Y'all, there's literally a restaurant here where I live where I'm a regular there, right? And they wait be like an hour or an hour and a half. But when I come, they open up a table for me. They open up a table for me because they know me, they know me by name. I'm a regular there. There's somebody who like, listen, you go to God all the time. They know you by faith. 
when your time comes, when it's your time, it's your time. Everybody else is just going to have to move out of the way. They just going to have to move out of the way because I'm up next. I'm up next. There's somebody who need to decree and declare out of their mouth that I'm up next. I know it's like, I know like a lot of people waiting and the wait is like an hour. The wait is real long, but I'm hungry right now. It's my turn. It's my turn. God said when it's your turn, he going to open up a table just for you, baby girl. It's called favor. It's called favor. So don't worry about how long the line look. Don't worry about how long the line look. Because Yahweh establishes. Yahweh establishes. He know when it's your time. He know exactly how you like your food. He know everything about you. He said, I seen you, girl. I seen you when you when you when you I seen you when you were sitting outside in your car. I seen you when you came and got in line one time, but you left. I seen you. I seen you when your brother called you and said he still want his food and you went and got back in line, no matter how long the line the line took. Yahweh establishes. Yahweh is doing it in this time. Our God, our daddy, our father, our creator is doing it for us in this time. And he said he's opening up a table just for you because you're up next. You're up next. If you really believe that with your whole heart, I need you to start decreeing and, and declaring, I'm up next. I'm up next. It's my time. It's my turn. I just stood in line and I done waited long enough. It's called favor, baby girl. It's called favor. I know it looks like it's a long wait. But I want you to know that Yahweh establishes Daddy God is doing it for us. I want you to know that <laughs> they know you by name. They know you by face. Hey, this girl come here all the time. I don't care how many people is in line. Y'all going to have to wait because, look, matter of fact, we're going to open up a section just for her and get her, get her order right now. Get her, get her drink right now. What she want, bring it to her right now because she's up next. She come here all the time. She's always petitioning for people. She's always here. Girl, no, sis, don't wait here. Sis, we love you here. It's your turn. You ain't got to wait. We know you. Glory be to God. Glory. God said this is how some of y'all breakthroughs are going to come. It might look like the wait is long, but God said that he knows. He said, you're up next. When I went back to the restaurant, y'all, there was no line. I walked right up to the register. And God said the order is going to be just the way you want it. The order is going to be just the way you want it. Because I specifically remember writing down my brother order. And he told me exactly how he wanted. As a matter of fact, y'all, I'm going to tell you what he ordered. I even remember what he ordered in the dream. He said he wanted chicken patty milk. And he said, he, I said, you want to smother and cover? He said, no. Glory to God. Glory to God. God said, due to the fact you was willing to get back in line for somebody else, you took somebody else's order. Lord, I, you know what? Lord, don't worry about me. I just need you to do it for my family. I need you to break through for my brother. I need you to deliver him. I need you to heal him. God said, due to the fact that you did it for somebody else, you're going to get blessed. You're going to get blessed. I put the order in for my brother, but Yahweh establishes. Yahweh sees me too. Zechariah, I know you're here petitioning for the people of God, but listen, God said, I see that you ain't got no child. I'm ready to bless you too. I'm ready to bless you too. I love y'all so much, y'all. Y'all don't even know. I was so excited that God revealed himself to me in my dreams because I'd be excited to get on here and encourage y'all, right? And God told me to tell you that your order is up. You're up next. And he was calling out names two by two, y'all. There's a scripture in the Bible where Jesus sent out um, his disciples, right? He sent us out two by two into the places where he would soon come. And I could just see in the spirit people holding, two people holding hands and just walking out, walking out. It's time. It's time for kingdom couples. It's time. This word is for kingdom marriage, but it's also for whatever you've been waiting, waiting on God for and believing in God for. Keep on waiting. Go back again. Don't, don't, don't go get in your car. If you get in your car, just let it be to get your order together and get back in line. Don't let nobody hold you up. Don't let nobody distract you. Cause they know you here at this restaurant. They know you, y'all. When I got when I when I walked up to the register, like they knew me. They was like, "Girl, listen." They mad because you know exactly how you want your food. But look, you know what you want. 
and and the chef know what he want knows the chef knows how to make exactly what you want the chef is god right so i just want you to know like you are being helped right the the people the workers who i said knew me they are symbolic of you know the helpers of god and his angels and specifically the people who he's placed in your life to help you right all glory to God. I love y'all so much. I pray that whoever this word is for, I want you to know that Yahweh establishes. Kenaniah. That's the only name that I remembered out of that dream when, when they was calling out those names. He said Kenaniah and Candace. He didn't, I don't remember the name that, the girl name that he said, but he was just calling out a female and a male name, right? Yahweh is establishing this in this time. God is going to do it. God is going to do it. I don't want nobody else to make my order but God. So God, I will wait on you. I will trust in you. I want somebody to say they getting back in line today. If that's you who has gotten out of line and even started to drive away, forget that order. I just want to hear somebody say they got back in line today. Don't miss your breakthrough. Ain't nobody else. God said, I'm not going to give your order to nobody else. No, this is for you. It's custom made just for you the way that you like it. I'm cooking your chicken just the way that you want it custom made it's just for you it got your name on it it got your name on it it got your name on it and it's ready in genesis 2 22 adam seen adam eyes were open glory to god there was a set time that 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 god put adam to sleep and he opened up adam and he pulled his rib out and he made something for him glory to god but god said the order is ready now the order is ready now. His eyes are open now. Because it's time. He can see you now, sis. Because you've been made into a woman. You've been made into that suitable helper that he needs in this time. Your order is ready now. It's your time, sis. You're ready. Ding. You're ready. This thing has been made by God. Kenaniah. Yahweh establishes. Yahweh made it. Yahweh made this order. Yahweh made this order and it's done. It's done. I'm up next. 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 I'm next in line. And guess what they gonna do? Make a make a space just for you. All glory be to God. I love y'all so much. I don't want no half done, Adam. Adam, I need you to stay into God. You know what I'm saying? Close you back up into God. Wake you all the way up. Cause you don't want no Adam that's still asleep. You don't want no Adam that's still asleep, baby. Let that thing get all the way done. Let let Eve get all the way done. You want Eve to be suitable for you. You don't you don't want her half done. She halfway helping you. No. Like, girl, we got work to do. God said it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. Your order is gonna be good, sis. I know you hungry, you've been waiting. Your order is gonna be good. That's how y'all gonna be smacking y'all mouth while y'all eating. Girl, it's good. <laughs> I waited for this, okay? I love y'all. I love y'all. Listen, when I say I love y'all, like, listen, I love y'all so much. And when I say sis, I'm not playing. When I say brother, I'm not playing. Like, y'all, it's my family. I love y'all. Have a great day. Bye.